Since hedgerows were removed for pivot irrigation, stock and pasture have had to endure without shelter belts. Chris Littlejohn is studying whether this plant can fill the void the hedgerows left behind. So the reason we looked at miscanthus was because you can get four metre high growth off the plant and it allows the centre pivot to pass through it because it's um, got flexible nature. Height's important. The higher the plant, the greater the protected area of paddock. So you'll get uh, 60, 70 metres into paddock of shelter benefit from your four metre high shelter belts. And it's uh, quite a flexible plant, just bends over and goes straight back up again? Yeah, uh, if you look at it, when we've got a gale blowing, uh, that's the nature of it. It bends quite happily in the wind and then springs back up to the way it should be once the gales are finished. It's important for it to be flexible so it can just bend under any pivot passing over top. As well as providing shelter for dairy cattle, it gives much needed protection to grass. So we've looked at uh, grass growth in the sheltered area of the paddock compared to a control area of equivalent size in the unsheltered part of the paddock. Um, we've recorded 10 to 15 per cent more pasture growth um, where we've had shelter effect. Far from just a windbreak, the plant has a number of uses. By using it as a cover, farmers could really be hedging their bets. It can be used as straw for bedding, feeding cattle and even feeding machinery. One of the key areas that we're looking at is trying to introduce a plant that's um, been developed in America over into New Zealand where you put biomass in one end and produce um, diesel at the other end that is usable and can be put straight into the tractor or the trucks and used straight away. With irrigation it can yield 30 tonnes of dry matter per hectare which in turn produces 9,000 litres of diesel. While it may be useful for tractors and utes, the Hokitika based dairy co-op sponsoring the research could take it further. Western Milk, who um, sponsored the research that we're doing, uh, one of the key things that they could be looking at was look, um, producing diesel and then using that to fuel their trucks as they collect milk. At its full height, Miscanthus will stand four metres tall. So far, this planting is three metres high. It also gives shelter to slightly smaller creatures, the bumblebees who inhabit these motels. All the motels that we've, or any Motels that have been occupied by bumblebees have been in the Miscanthus. So if you've got bumblebees on the farm, then um, they're one of the most important insects for pollinating clover. In fact, red clover can only be pollinated by bumblebees. As with any exotic plant, the risks of invasiveness were thoroughly checked before it was allowed to be grown in New Zealand four years ago. Ecologically, they found it to be perfectly safe. Patrick Phelps, CTV News.